All right, all right, all right. It is the Wolf of Crypto coming back in, and we are going to get this started so we can start seeing a couple of different things on some arbitrage that we've been looking at today, looking at today, and, uh, you know, just making money. So what I've got money into right now is XP. Uh, here, let's just go through it real quick. Um, earlier today, I noticed that ETL and it actually is about to take over a uh, Daria. I saw that ETHD Ethereum Dark was pumping again. Um, these guys really know what they're doing. The people that own this coin uh, up here, the price was 42 on uh, on Cryptopia at the time. It was it's died down quite a bit, but it's still at 42 on Cryptopia. It looks like so um let's see here so last price it's at, it's at 47 so you know that there's something going on um and that's where i like to put my money sometimes i ride the well sometimes i do my own thing this is kind of like riding a well right because what we're going to see is that it is pumping not only here on bitcoin it's up you know 76 percent but it's also up a hundred percent on Ethereum and 94% on Litecoin. So the thing that's good about this is when this is pumping, you will kind of make money anyway. If you know how to do the math really quick, uh, you'll be able to sell this when it's all up in green. You can get on that train and sell it for, you know, before it dumps. I don't think this is going to dump. I think this is going to be a really long pump, to tell you the truth. Uh, right when Ethereum Dark, you know, takes Dari, Dari, D-A-R-I, Dari, I don't even know, Dari, Dari spot. I don't know why these coins are even making it. I understand XP, but I don't understand Nua and Dari, and I don't really care. Um, but once this replaces it, people are going to come here, and obviously, if you guys have been on Coin Exchange, you always look at this top, you know, leaderboard, and you want to figure out what's going on. So when you see Ethereum Dark at the end, that's going to be up, you know, 80% or whatnot, popping up here, then everybody's going to jump on it. And when they click on it, it's going to come here, and they're going to say, "Oh, that's easy money," you know, it's at three eight, it's at three eight nine four. You can see the arbitrage is starting to come uh, together, and it's starting to dip a little bit because. It was, when I got into it, it was, well, let's look at the prices right here. I don't know why that thing is up. But let's look at the prices real quick. So you can see my trades, um, you know, these are back in the day. Dude. These these trades got crazy. Like, you know, I bought it for 7900 You know, it went up way, way higher than this. But, um, you know, I had to sell it. And then this is really where things started falling apart. You can see I bought it for 13, sold it for 11, 10, 5, 8. You know, I just wasn't making good trades. Like, boom, sold it for this. Boom, bought it for this. Sold it, you know, for a little bit of profit. Boom, I did buy it. Oh, wait, this is all, like, in the same uh, period of time. Okay, this is when it was pumping huge. So, I mean, you know, you buy it at 15, sell it for 16. Buy it back at 16, sell it for 33, 34. This thing actually went up to, I mean, look at this. It actually went up to, uh, what was it? It went up to uh, $7. It was like 40 cents back here at 16 or like 14.01. And we can do the math exactly. But when I first got into it, I know it was like 40 cents. And then it went up to $7, like literally. So anyway, enough about Ethereum Dark. So you can see my trades for today. Um, you know, I bought it at 31, this is the day the 28th, bought it at 31, uh, 30, you know, I bought this, this whole wall, you know, two walls, three walls, whatever you call it, and then sold it for 33 instantly, and then I bought it again at 37, and I sold it for 37, now the reason that you'll see me sell it for 33 is because I know how to do the math, even though I keep on buying it, you know, I only bought like 10, 100, 100, so that's 223, right? And only sold it 100 for a profit. And I bought 220 more and sold it. So I kind of like hedged my bet right there, right, with these two cells. Now I'm holding only 100 of them, and it is flying up again. 
And so when people see, uh, you know, the arbitrage on these different, uh, if you can beat them to it, you know, it's 384 on here. And like I said, on Cryptopia, it's uh, 4,700. Um, people will expose that, that arbitrage very quickly. I've seen it with BQ, which I'll show you here in a second. I actually don't even know if I'm going to sell it for this low. Uh, I think that's a good price because that will link up with that. Um, but I really don't think that these guys are done. I think you can, there's never a bad time to enter the market, right? But man, I really did buy, you know, one of them I bought literally at the top, that 3,700. I think it's going to go a lot higher than this. I don't think that if you're, I think for the next three days, these guys are going to be pumping because if you know about Ethereum Dark, you'd, you'd know why. These guys are for real, you know, real investors only. Um, you know, they're using the the, CK, the Zcash NARC algorithm and, and their stuff's working. I don't need to take you to the site or anything. I could tell people in the troll box, like, I don't really care the specs on a coin. I just see what's moving. I've been here doing this long enough. So I know to see, like, really good patterns. And if you see, you know, walls this thin, um that are pumping on uh whoops let's go back up here that are pumping on all different levels on the same exchange i really don't care about other exchanges but i know that this chain works and so to move it from this exchange to cryptopia and sell for 47 you know when you're buying it for 37 here isn't that hard to do um i don't think the pump on cryptopia is either uh done either I mean, I've been here and it went down and then went back up. I mean, you know, these are crazy. It's up 100%, you know, it's at 47 right now. The high, it went to 67. So it's like, you know, you just notice some things. This is obviously different than what I usually do, but you, you sometimes if you ride the wells and don't get dumped on them, um, then that's a good thing to do. Uh, this is usually a good sign right here. If you buy right here, this is usually a good, good sign. You do have to check the volume and stuff, um, and usually it's a better sign if you're, you're scalp trading. But almost every time I see a hammer, especially when I'm scalp trading, and what I mean by a hammer is like this long, you know, wick with a big hammer. <laughs> if this even shortens up a little bit too, which they don't do on this, they actually do the past hour and then you, you know, but it is what it is. Like right now, you know, it's saying that it stopped at 32, but right now it's up at you know, 34. So the, the next candle is going to, be, going to be huge. But every time you see this candle, you know, the next one's going to be big. That's just one thing else. So I don't know. I know a bunch of tricks and stuff, you know, like we can go and identify hammers all over the place, you know, and you can see that when you buy it, it's not long before they go up. I don't know why I just learned that a long time ago. And that's not even like a true, like I get to show you better uh, forms of it, but it, you know, obviously has gone out this next hour, which this has an hour lag kind of sucks but you know that's the way they decided to do things and that's fine with me because if you know what you're doing you don't need the charts now a way that we do need the charts is you know uh people that are already doing arbitrage or digibyte right it's up to like 425 so that's like the next coin that i'm uh kind of messing with and it looks like odd uh, and ethereum's almost there ethereum dark's almost there taking the place of dari and look at that it's up to 3640 Man, I don't care if you're selling, you know, buying things for one dollar and selling them for two. Um, you know, if you're trading at uh, thirty-one or yeah, yeah, thirty-one and selling them for thirty-three uh, to thirty-seven, that's good. You're buying them at thirty-seven and you're hedging your bets. You know, selling them at thirty-three. If you guys know what that means, then you're good. This is well on its way to my sell order, which is right here, and I might pull it. If things start moving very quickly, I kind of want to sit on this just because I know the past of Ethereum Dark, but I also know the past, and this would not be hard to crumble. This is actually not the worst support. Um, you want these to kind of even out, right, on the, on, a, on the correct pump. And I'll put another pump in here. It is on PDC. I saw it. It is pretty funny, um, and I made some money off of that. But basically what I'm getting trying to get you guys to do is kind of think like me. So I'm like, okay, you know, I, I never really say like go for a bad coin. If I do, I'll let you know, like, whoops, I messed up, you know. But um, if I'm in the troll box, you know, but that's what I call it, the troll box. Like never like just take someone's word for it. I try to be as honest as I can. And that's why, you know, uh, I've been so, you know, popular lately. It's because I really make people a lot of money. That's what I'm used to doing. 
And so, um, you know, I don't tell them they have to do it. I just say, hey, like, this is what I'm doing. Like, you guys can get along if you want. <clears throat> so that's good. Um, you know, freaking, you can look at this big chart. I always, like, try to put it into, you know, if I'm going to look at the whole thing, the whole perspective, I mean, this is when it, like, went up to seven bucks, right? So I bought, like, right here, what was it, at one, like, literally just kind of when it was rising. Uh, and that thing just pumped straight up to, I mean, look at that, that was, that was seven bucks back then, and then I couldn't get the computer in time, and I, and I ended up selling it for like this, like, I was just like, man, you know, I could have made a ton off that, I mean, buying something for 40 cents, I remember I bought like a thousand of them too, buying something for 40 cents and selling it for seven dollars, that's, that's a pretty good uh, come up, so let's talk about some other things here on Coin Exchange. Um, DGB is what I'm kind of getting into now, I have a feeling that it's about to pop, and the reason that I feel that way, and I will let you know, and this is, yes, I do use moving averages, I use technical analysis on a lot of my things, see, um, I mean, this is an inverted hammer, <laughs> you still make money on hammers no matter what, even if they're going up or down, as long as they're red. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look up, or let's go ahead and do a little magic sauce for this. Um, I just put in some moving averages. Um, I'll do four for here because this, uh, DGB has been around for a long time. So, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> let's just say they've been around for a long time. Um, uh, when you're doing a, something like this, I like to use really like a three hour or four hour ticker. Uh, and I can tell you why. Hold on just a second here. Let me enter this in. Uh, um, okay. Let's see here. Uh, if you guys want to copy this, you can. I learned this from a very good person. Uh, probably one of the people that I don't know, like, haven't seen face-to-face -face and would actually stand up for. Um, I'm known to do that from time to time, but... Uh, this guy has been trading stocks and bonds and everything for years. Now he's in the crypto, and this guy is a swing trader mofo. He makes money like nothing else. So let's see here. So if you guys know how moving averages work, uh, you won't even need to learn from me. Whoops. Sorry, I was trying to get this green. I like things a certain way, so... All right, let's get this done. Okay, so here we go. Um, first of all, if you guys are ever on TradingView, uh, in which this is, you know, using that, you can click on here, and it'll tell you when to buy <laughs> and sell. I mean, yeah, you're going to have to get a good guess on your own, but, like, literally it's saying, like, buy here, you know, sell here, buy here. Yeah, and usually it'll have a, um, a buy on a red, so it kind of gets confusing, but it's buy here. You know, and if it's like two greens or whatever, it's like double down, mofo. mofo. Now, what we're waiting for, you see all these different lines, the, the yellow, the, and I want to get this out of here, um, the crosshairs. Those of you that don't think I know how to chart, I know how to chart. <laughs> okay. Like, first of all, we're going to put this on a three hour. All right, we're going to get rid of this stuff so you can't see it. And if I wanted to, I could get rid of the candlestick wicks, which I think is really cool. But you guys want to see the past and how much this thing is bounced. You want to see my trades on this. I mean, look at this thing. All right, so this is like in June, right? This thing just boomed. I think it went up to like $9 or something like that, uh, you know, from rolling on the floor. Rolling on the floor is right here. Where my little mouse is so you can see you you know it's it's also called scalp trading <laughs> you know uh when it comes down and it hits like a floor which is like literally right here and i can show you where i bought it for 85 cents or 85 sats i mean it doesn't matter if you you know and, and sold it for 150 right here in my uh recent trades uh i haven't done the best with this but i'm not gonna lie but i also was like putting it and selling it on other exchanges and stuff like that i was kind of doing a lot of arbitrage so you can see oh i didn't buy it i bought it at 92 and then it has me selling it at 91 uh, but on other exchanges i bought it for 85 and sold it for 150 uh, right now we're entering the trade at 420. I wish I would have kept that 150. I remember when I sold it for 150, I was like, dang it. 
you know, and it popped bigger. But right now it's getting, uh, what I'm really getting at is that it's looking like it's about to pop. Okay. And what I mean like th by that, and you guys can see how rich I am. Whenever you're saying, oh, why don't you buy that? Or why don't you support that? Like, look, I don't have a ton of money. Like, you know, I, I'm a macro trader. I don't, I don't really hold a lot of things on the exchanges. And there's a reason for that. So right now we're green. We're doing good. Um, what's going to happen, and you can see these trends, right, is that these waves, let's see if we can do anything. Uh, I was going to get rid of the candlesticks because you literally, you literally can. Um, but these waves, and this is off a three-hour ticker, it means every candle sticks at three hours long. So these, the 77, or the 7, which is this moving average, is green one, is really bouncing off this 77, which is, it's really bouncing off and waving underneath the 21, which is the red one. But it had to do a super correction, and what's going to probably happen, because what usually happens is that it will bounce off this 7, all right, people have really gotten into uh, Digibyte. They really like it. Uh, I like it. I like the whole thing. I liked it for a long time. It just like would not make money forever, you know. When you're sitting here and the price is the same, you know, for this amount of period, it sucks. Like the price is, you're just sitting there like, oh no, this is retarded, you know. Like, that's why I bought and sold it so many times right here because it just wasn't making any money. And then you know, I buy it at 90, sell it at 150, and of course it goes up. That's just the name of the game. There's always a good time to invest. Like with the Ripple right now, we're all, you know, our all-time highs at 150, 155. I don't care. When I get my bit stamp thing approved, I'll be able to smash Ripple um, and double my money with that just by, you know, trading the USD against it. So bit stamp, get my thing approved, man. Get it approved. I've been sitting there waiting for a minute. Everybody else has got theirs approved and they're trading Ripple against the dollar bill. I want to I start doing that. So anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and look at this. So when these meet up, these moving averages, we call it, let's see here, we call it uh, lightning striking. So, you know, what it basically is, uh, is a lightning bolt. And th this is why I like trading view. They got so many freaking icons. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find a lightning one right away. So we will just, there it is. All right, so when all the moving averages meet up, like they did back here, right? Lightning struck. That means all these lines, the red, the red, the yellow, the white, and the green, all met up right here, and boom, lightning struck. You know, and then if you guys want to throw a Fibonacci, which now I'm getting really technical, and you guys don't even know need to know about this, but, um, you know, if you would have bought right there, sold right there, you can see the percentage right there. All right. That's in uh, not a long amount of time. It doesn't matter. If you're making 36,000%, I don't care what it is. You know, even if you would have sold it short right here and made that much, that's a ton of money. Oh, wait. Okay. This is like over the whole month of June. It's like, I don't give a crap. Um, so that's a ton, right? Like you guys are buying at the bottom, and that's what scalp trade is all about. So let's like go ahead and move this around here and see what you know how much money you can make all right now. So that was back in June. Everything, every chart looks like this. Every crypto chart, because in June everything freaking exploded. Now I think it's kind of going back full circle. I really believe in these nine month cycles, if that makes sense. Um, and I think here, let's see if we can see how much we would have made already. Dang it, I might have to delete this. All right. So let's see here. So we're looking at long positions, right? And if I would have held and not sold, here, let's just do this real quick. And I could have, you know, I could make this a lot easier, but just for a good, you know, if I would have held it just, you know, 99 when I really bought it, 85, and then sold it, you know, it went up to 600, that's 500, that's, oh, that is 600%. It's a 600% profit. Now, let's go see what we're getting into right now. So this is like the risk versus reward. This is what I, whenever I talk about risk versus reward, this is what I'm talking about. We're going to have to stretch this B out. So 
these are going to meet up, these moving averages, which are these lines again. We've got the 231. These are like forces, especially the 231 and the 70. Um, now, if this 21 and the 7 drops below this 231, and if the 77, or the 77, sorry, if the 7 and 21 drop below the 77, I'll be surprised, just because it's Digibyte. Um, if it does drop below the this, the 231, if the 77 ever drops below the 231, get rid of it. Like, you'll just be holding on to it for at least 30 days, and it won't be price improving. So you'll want to short it or something, but get rid of it. So if we just, you know, if it pops right here and it goes up, let's see what the target is. That's 52%. I don't care if you're making 1% or, you know, 2%. 52%. And I think it's going to go up to 600 easy. When it pops like that, man, 52% is a lot of money. You know, you're buying something for 4 and you're selling it for 6 that's a lot of money. And so you can kind of see uh, what I'm talking about. And that's why I'm getting into Digibyte. Obviously, this is just on this exchange, but I'm guessing because Digibyte is so easy to arbitrage with, meaning that you can send it to different exchanges, I'm guessing that uh, this is really going to happen in these next few days. So you can like time stamp this and screenshot it. Um, I don't think anybody that listens to me is really technical analysis driven. So it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. But you can tell... You know, what I'm looking forward to is like, you know, a 50% gain, maybe higher. So, but on the way up, you can, you can trade all the way up, you know. Um, if you want to hold a couple of days, I think you will get 50%, but um, you can hold all the way up. So, it just depends on what you want to do. If you're investing or trading, I like trading. So, you, literally what I do, and when I say I'm going to buy a wall and make, uh, and then make smaller walls. This is my home right here. Um, and this is what I'm saying when I buy a wall. So like back here, you know, what I do, I bought it at 419 and 420. 420 is the birth of my date, my birth, uh, my baby. So it's a lucky number. Um, and right now it's at, you know, 447. I could sell it right now. And usually that's what I do. I'll like buy it real quick. And then, so I'll buy the wall and then I'll just sit there. And I'll sell, you know, a hundred at a time for like, you know, 446, 447, 448, 449, you know, and I'll go all the way down the line. And so it's not even, you know, some people will just buy it and then they set it for a certain price. I like to set small prices all the way. So when people are buying this pump, you're, you're making all your money. Then you have less risk of it dumping and not making money. So this is going to get bought easy. You know what? To tell you the truth, I'm going to buy this. Um, oh man, invalid amount. Let's just do 700 of these. Dang, and it's gone just like that. Should have been faster to the drop, but I am doing it. So you can see trading live that 417. I would have made, you know, like three or 30 cents just off that right away. And I, you know what people do, they test out for support. So what they're doing is testing the support. These wells got a lot of money. They will put money here and just test it. They will see if somebody's going to sell it, you know, and buy it. Because when they're making a pump, they want to make sure, sure. Uh, oh, I was just looking out here. Sorry, I'm holding a lot of B3. I have a lot of faith in them. Um, somebody's saying that they got hacked. You know, it's FUD. If you're in certain need and the dis disruption. Sorry, fear, uncertainty, and doubt is FUD. All right. Anyway, I mean, that's all I really have to say for today. You know, right now I'm also into XP, but I'm trading with the Doge. So I bought Doge. And I'm trading um, Doge and XP. So we can go ahead and look at this if we want. Uh, let's can get to another page. Uh, this is Ethereum Dark again. Let's see here. So these Doge traders, as you guys know, really know what they're doing. XP has been getting a lot of publicity. I think John McAfee uh, put it on this thing is one of the best. You know, it's really doing well. Um, you know, what they call this right here. And I'll kind of show you what I mean by it is a cup of joe. And so usually I'd actually probably sell right here and I might. 
um, because what it's going to do is come down like a U and then it's going to go boom. But I think it already did it right here. And so people call that a cup of joe. And usually it will go down and then boom up to right around here where this cluster is. So it will go down and boom up to seven. So it looks like it already did. And they call that making the handle. And so I will actually draw this so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, that is not the best color. Let's go ahead and switch this color real quick. So that's our cup of joe now. <sighs> Jeez, whatever. Like, seriously, do you guys care? I don't. You can see, though, it's making a big old cup. And if you stretch this out longer, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then I think it dropped right there. Like, that was a drop. It could be that quick. And then it just skyrockets. And it'll just literally go like this. It's so like it'll drop and then boom. And so I think that's what's going to happen with XP. I think it's already happening. So this is going to go like this. Or this is simply, go ahead and delete that. <laughs> this thing's so small, I can't even, I can't even do it. This little, what do we call it, the, the chart. I'm really here. I'm, a, I'm on a teeny computer. I'm on a little Mac Air, so... Anyway, you guys can get that. You'll see if you guys go to Trading View and stuff like that. Like, let's go to Trading View. <laughs> um, this is where everybody charts and stuff, right? You can let's see, let's see what the what the predictions for um, uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, let's see what the predictions are for DGB. I don't want to get too long winded. I know that we're all just kind of like quick, but I'm trying to get uh, explain to you guys what I mean. And a good thing to reference is Bitrix is because they're a bunch of lanes. Um, so let's go to like the interactive chart, right? And this is my old login. You guys can see some of the charts I made. It's RSS legacy. And I was just a little bit off, man. Like a lot of them hit. So you can see I already got the moving averages kind of set up on this. I guess this is on Polonius. Um, and a lot of people, what these little dots are, are ideas. So let's see what it says. DGB going for another bull run. So it's doing like almost the same, you know, moving averages these guys are using. Um, I don't know what this is. No, but they're using just a little like an RSI and a MACD also. And I mean, they just barely did this. So there's like going to be no movement. But if we go back to like here, let's see what this guy said. <sighs> this guy was pretty right on, you know. Boom. <laughs> I mean, you don't get better than that. I mean, this thing just went down and went up. So, I mean, buying right here, that 85 sat range was literally the lowest. And I blew it by selling it at 150. But you can't get mad at yourself. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to try and go harder in the paint next time. Like, you know, I left the trade open. Like, and that's another thing I was trying to teach you guys was uh, when you're on these exchanges, you want to like close out the day. You don't really want to leave anything like this. Now, the only reason I leave Digibyte is because I have the faith in it. And if you ever want to go back and get a bunch of ideas, you can come here and see like, okay, what are these guys saying? Like, you know, um, what does this person think it's going to do? Well, everybody thinks it's going to go up. And these guys are a bunch of chart and fools, so most likely it is going to go up. He's a little bit, you know, early. It needed, it needs to correct a little bit more. Um, you know, this person, I don't know what the yellow means. <sighs> this guy's using Elliott Waves, which Elliott Waves and, and things like this. Oh, that's just his. Don't really work uh, for crypto. <laughs> like, you can see, he thought it was like, going to go up or something. But he did hit the trend line. The trend line was down here, uh, you know, right around where we entered our trade anyway. And so it's not bad. So, I mean, look at the predictions back here, though. It was so hard to predict back here. Like, this guy is probably just like, oh, man, it's going to crush. Or, look, it's a cup and handle. That's a cup of joe, right? He thought it was going to go up, and then it was going to go down and up. This is what I was talking about earlier about. So I know I talked kind of quick. He was off. You want to see my charts? My charts are way off, so I don't even blame him, especially with Digibyte, like, like this thing just freaking skyrocketed. Like we said, let's see what the you know what the Fibonacci was. We would have held long on this thing. 
you know, it went up, you know, three, 3,000%. 3, Why the other one say 36,000? I don't know. It doesn't matter. 3,000% is 3,000%. What are we up on DGB or Bitcoin for the year? And this is trading against Bitcoin. So if you would have done that trade, executed it correctly, you know, sold like right here, and you would have made a ton of money. And that's why Bitcoin is so fun to trade against because even if you lose a little bit, you're still gaining on the USD. Right now we're in a huge correction period. It's because people are starting to realize that they can send their money quicker through Doge and quicker through Litecoin and things like that. And so that's why it is not, how do you say, it? it's just not, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin is just not as popular as it was because the average transaction is $20 and it takes a while. But with that being said, it still is an OG. It's still going to pull away. I still have faith that it'll be at least $50,000. That's what it is. It's going to be used for rich people to move money. It's never been hacked. It's a great uh, system. It's been that financial technology. And that's what it is. So that's really all I have to say. Um, you know, I'm popping, I'm popping with this XP. I'm going to know, I can tell you another like cup and handle thing. Like this is what it's doing right now, right? This cup. Oh wait, we already looked it up. You can see a bunch of things that do this, though. So. Call it like a cup of dough or a cup of, ha cup of handle. Oh, sorry, cup and handle. And all you do basically is trace this thing. Alright, here's a cup. Here's a cup. Here's a handle. <laughs> so anyway, you guys holler back at me if you need anything. You know, this is the Wolf of Crypto. Getting more technical analysis. And doing some live trading. Let's see if we can get something popping. Let's go to like our go to and uh, see what's going on. I, I highly doubt that uh, B3 that's still on mine got hacked, but it might have. I love it. People, people on uh, Twitter have been DMing me. Like they know I got that S bit coming pumping. Look at all these pumps, dude. Man, I was buying it here. I didn't even know what it was. I just started, I was like, oh, thin walls, you know? And now people have been pumping it ever since. Like, every day I come in here, somebody's like, hey, let's pump S-Bit. And, like, they act like they need me to pump it for them. I'm like, do it yourself, you know? I, um, I think this is actually mine. <laughs> I set up a support because I was like, I can pump this later. But you can tell these walls are getting bigger and bigger. bigger. They used to have, like, all three zeros before them. Um, now they're getting like bigger and bigger, but whatever. Um, anyway, King Gamer's been wife for a been around for a minute. I'm actually gonna hop back into the troll box, and anybody who has any questions, leave it. Also, like and subscribe. I'm not a freaking full time YouTuber, obviously. You guys know that these would be like five minutes, really quick in and out about my trades and how cool I am. But really, I'm just trying to show people how to really trade successfully on these different exchanges. And SBIT has been great. I mean, I bought it for nine. And this is what I mean by leaving smaller walls. So I bought it for nine, right? Um, on the 21st, sold it for 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, you know, 14, 14, 15. And so people are like, how do you do that? Well, you just buy a bunch of it and then you sell off little bits, right? Little S bits. And then I saw the pump was going. So I bought it and sold it for 17 real quick. And then I bought it again at 16, sold it for 17, sold it for 24. I bought it at 27, sold it for 27 to kind of hedge and break even, and it was done. And again, I bought it for 8, 9, 10, and I sold it for 12 and 13. These are huge gains. Bought it for 19, sold it for 21, bought it for 17. And I bought it for 8, sold it for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 17. I think I hedged it and bought it. Let's see here. Yeah, I actually sold more. So I actually like, evened out on that bet, but look at all the other ones that fucking made it go a lot better. And I bought it for here, 14, and sold it for 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20. You know, it's like, I suppose it's been making me a lot of money. And so, but now you guys know what I mean, like, buy walls, buy big walls and sell small walls, you know, you can buy it for one, 
and sell for Satoshi, one Satoshi more after that. Small gains equal big money. I'm telling you, I've been doing this for so long. And then at that point, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm actually going to see V3, what's going on with it. Another wall you guys might want to look at that I was looking at the other day has been chewed through. It's d and &E. This coin was like featured. They used to have like coins that they featured on coin exchange. And so I bought into it and it's just been sitting around forever. And so I was going to sell it for a Satoshi. And then I was like, screw that. You know, when this wall gets bought and some well comes in here and just controls this thing, then it's going to fly. So instead I pulled the order. You can see I bought, you know, uh, 271,000 of these bitches. <laughs> But I'm going to pull that order. I think it will go to like, I mean, let's kind of do the math here. If a guy buys it at 11, he's going to want to sell it. You know, he'll do the same thing. He'll buy it and then he'll sell, 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 sell like all the way down. Like these guys all do the same thing. I learned from the best of them, you know, big, be big bait, eat little bait. And that has never been truer. These guys were eating me up. They almost freaking drove me out of this exchange. But I'm fighting back one small jab at a time. So DME, I think, is going to get going here in a little while. Because what people are doing, they're doing the same thing with all these, like, you know, really small uh, Satoshi coins, like Dari, for example, you know. If you would have put 15 BTC into DME, you would have actually been able to get a lot higher. And now they're trying to pump this thing. And actually... <laughs> I can buy that right there and then easily sell it for three. That's a good, that's an easy buy right there. Maybe I'll do that. But with that being said, there's kind of live trading. I got another trading, the PEC pumping is pretty funny. Uh, it's Trumpets coin or Peace Earth coin. I don't know. I don't really care. Like I said, I just buy things and sell them for BTC. I don't really mess around with Litecoin and stuff too much, but I am looking at Box a lot. So, with that being said, I will let you guys, and I'm on to the next one. Boom. So, see you later. Get out.